The house that we recently moved into had an old broken treadmill in it, and I was interested in what parts I could salvage from it and what projects we could make with those parts. Um, it was kind of an interesting endeavor taking it apart because the previous owner of the treadmill had really been angry with it or something. They cut a bunch of wires even where there are nice quick disconnects. Um, not sure what their motivation for that was, and it looks like they actually attacked some of the circuit boards with a screwdriver. Um, some of the plastic holders are broken. It might have just been clumsiness. I'm not really sure what their goal was. Um, but nevertheless, a lot of the components seem to be working. So I, I started with the, the motor itself. Um, it's a 230 volt, uh, sorry, 130 volt, 2.25 horsepower motor. Um, so it's a pretty crazy motor. It'd be fun to put into a lathe or a mill or something. And um, I'm just running it on 15 volts right now, but it seems to be working. From what I've been reading, uh, the blue wires are actually just for a thermal protection circuit and don't actually need to be used. So it's just a straight up DC motor. Um, this is its controller. I've seen the model number a couple places online, but it doesn't appear to be particularly common in DIY projects. It's the MC2100WA, and there's a couple different versions of this. Um, it's a little bit rough looking. I'm going to take a look at it and see if I can get my Arduino to talk to it and see if I can control the motor speed uh, and also just use this as a more powerful driver because this is a 110 volts or whatever, or 130, um, rather than the 15 I can give it with my little variable power supply. So after a bit of experimentation, everything actually worked out pretty well. Um, I ended up just soldering on the circuit breaker where it was wired on before, um, and then got some heavy gauge wires to wire up the DC motor to the A plus and A minus outputs. Um, and then the tricky bit, other than a little bit more soldering here and there, was so this header two um, is actually where the signal goes and the first and last pins are both headed to ground and I'll show the breakout of that in a second. And then counting from the bottom where this label is um, on the side opposite of the heat sink, the fourth pin up uh, is the PWM pin. Um, now I haven't had any particular luck with the PWM libraries that I saw online, but just manually um, doing a digital write and then delaying with the number of microseconds on the Arduino worked. It's really simple code and I'll post it as well. Um, so the circuit itself, super simple. Um, really the only thing going on is sharing the ground. And then on pin nine, I've got uh, a digital output and I'm, that digital output runs through a 160 ohm resistor to that fourth pin on the motor driver. And then there's a uh, pull down resistor, I think it's 660 ohms, um, down to ground to pull it to ground when it's uh, when there's no current being supplied. And then all the Arduino is doing is deciding what proportion of 50 milliseconds, um, that's the duty cycle, what proportion of 50 milliseconds it's going to be applying with the digital write high. Um, and and this, this small resistor here is there because um, the the driver doesn't appear to respond to full five volt logic, but it, by trial and error, this, this level of resistor worked out. Um, so in terms of what we can do with it, right now, the Arduino is running, but I've got the duty variable set to zero. So if I set it to 0 0.06, uh, which is, I think the lowest with the way that I have it coded currently, it'll start spinning. Um, it's pretty slow, but it has reasonable torque so I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. And I can slow it down, but I mean, it's a lot stronger than it was when I was running it off of that little 15 volt variable power supply. If I bump it up to 25% duty, we can see. So it's really going at this point, um, but this is only 25%, only so we can really play around with this. So if we bump it up to 85, we can really have some fun. So yeah, as you can probably hear, it's quite, quite powerful. Um, it's got a little LED, which doesn't seem to vary a lot. I think it has something to do with the frequency at which it's getting the PWM si uh, signal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would be pretty trivial to add a potentiometer to just vary the speed without uploading new sketches. Um, 
you could do a lot of things with this, but I just did the sort of proof of concept circuit to see if I could actually get it to talk to the motor controller. So I'll post the code and probably draw a crude little diagram of the circuit that I'm using uh, on, the, on the YouTube channel.